Our next poet um, is the author of Spirit Birds They Told Me, a book of poetry that explores her upbringing in Appalachia in a family of white supremacists and her relationship to her mother, a Japanese war bride. Mary is the host of the Blues Show on KUNM and also the station's development director. Mary has read as part of the 60th anniversary of Hir Hiroshima and at the Albuquerque Cultural <coughs> Conference. Please welcome Mary Oishi. You all look so beautiful. When I came in, I was so close to tears to see how many people are here in support of this important, important And when Tony got up and read his wonderful poem to the Libro Traficante caravan, I almost cried again, so I hope I can get through these poems without crying. Am I Mexican? No. Am I a citizen? Yes. So why are my eyes welling up, Arizona? Why is my stomach churned, my soul disturbed? You sent me back, Arizona, on that cross-country trip, back to that stop in Topeka, on a Greyhound where I swear some white frat boys from UNLV gave a girl a date rape drug the night before. One big guy's legs across the aisle kept anyone from going back there. Nothing was done. But in the daylight in Topeka, me in my blue Chinese hat, a gift some friends found at a flea market, covered in brightly colored pins, red stars, Chinese flags, flowers, <laughs> idyllic Asian scenes. To me, it was whimsical. To the two pistoled cops, sheriff canine unit on their buckles, white shirts, blue pants tucked inside their army boots, one with a shaved head, that hat was nothing you could buy at Kmart. <laughs> to them, it shouted, commie, Chinese, illegal, suspect, threat, up to no good. So one demanded, where are you from, huh? While the other rifled through my bag stuffed overhead. Oh yeah, maybe the frat boys would have asked for a search warrant, but I answered politely as I could, heart pounding, cheeks flushed, gun inches from my head. Where did you board this bus? Why were you in Colorado? Where are you getting off? All the while snooping through my bags like my clothes were contraband. Finally satisfied that I spoke fluent English, carried no sayings of Chairman Mao, no materials to make a bomb, they moved on to their only other target. You speak English, they demanded. You got a green card? Where's your green card? Let me see your green card now. Yes, yes, yes. Scrambling to retrieve it from his pocket, trembling. White passengers kept reading or looking out the window as if they didn't see or hear a thing. A few old African Americans sat there tired, resigned, expecting to be next, relieved they weren't this time. I watched from the window as he got off the bus next stop, heard him speaking Spanish to the woman waiting, she all ears and upset eyes. Someone said we know how fascist the government is by how much we fear the police. Funny how Topeka is suddenly Berlin, the Star of David, pink triangle there. Here is your green card, your English, and your papers, and they better be just right. We're all Jews sometimes, all gay, and Arizona, you have made us all illegals with your flimsy, mere suspicions, with your hatred for the other, buckled in and booted down. Am I Mexican? Yes. Am I a citizen? No. no. Not in Arizona, not in Arizona, no, not in a state so far from grace. put it on my table to bring tonight, and I forgot it. <laughs> this, uh, as Richard said, I was raised by white supremacists. The woman who raised me was conceived at a Klan rally. 
So this is the rules of white supremacy in case you weren't raised by white supremacists, but I suspect you were. Whether you know it or not. No ghost dancing, no learning to read and write, no playing those African drums, no going into those kivas, those sweat lodges, no speaking that language, no staying on your land, no leaving the plantation, no crossing this border, no hunting without a license, no fishing without a license, no farming unless zoned agricultural, no long hair for men, no staying with your family, your community, no escaping boarding school, no sitting at the front of the bus, no sitting at this lunch counter, no admittance to this hospital, no attending this school, no attending this college, no registering to vote, no voting. No voting once a convicted felon, no trial by jury, no rejecting plea bargains, no interracial marriage, no resisting internment, no resisting the draft, no resisting. No education without military service, no citizenship without military service, no job without military service, no Mexican American studies program, no Sandra Cisneros, no house on Mango Street, no Rudolfo Anaya, no bless me ultima, no Denise Chavez, no face of an angel, no getting emotional, no dwelling in the past, no talk of oppression, no raising your voice, no getting uppity, no complaining, no whining, no playing the race card, no calling me a racist, no playing the race card, no playing the race card, no playing the race card. Uh -huh. <laughs>